It was 1948, and Chiang Kai-shek, the president of China, was just about holding Mao Zedong's communist forces from seizing the main cities of China. The newly appointed cardinal, Bishop Riveri, understood that it was only a matter of time before the communists would take control of the entire country, and that soon after they would expel all Catholic priests and religious. And so he crafted a plan to strengthen the church for its future, its future without clergy, when the fate of the church would rest solely in the hands of the laity. Cardinal Ribéry had previously been at Nuncio to Zanzibar, and there he had come across a lay organisation called the Legion of Mary, and had been greatly impressed at how it had mobilised the Catholic laity to appreciate their baptismal call to holiness and the apostles. And so he called on an Irish missionary, Father Aidan McGrath, and a man well acquainted with the Legion of Mary, and also fluent in Chinese. He told Father Aidan on the phone that he wanted him to come to China and establish the Legion of Mary in however many months remained before the communists achieved total control. Father Aidan replied on the phone, With respect, Your Grace, but don't you think it's a little bit too late? To which, the, to which he replied, in a way only an archbishop might, Do what you're told! <laughs> and so he did. And before long, he established the Legion of Mary in Shanghai, Beijing, Chongqing, and all the important cities of China. And what were the members of these groups doing? Well, the very same things that our Lord asks of the disciples in today's Gospel. To go through the streets, um, from house to house, offering Christ, and the possibility of salvation. To go in pairs, not bringing any material aid, but the precious jewels of their faith. To work under obedience to Christ, which for the legionaries meant doing the work allocated from their weekly meeting. And to return to Christ with a report of their work, which for the legionaries meant coming back to the following meeting to joyfully work report on how Christ had used them over the last week, and also to arrange for any follow-up to be done. The Legion of Mary Work in China was blessed by God, and in a year and a half, Father Aidan had helped establish 2,000 groups, which he estimates made up a total of about 40,000 members, each undertaking a minimum of two hours evangelization work a week. So in a few months, China experienced an outstanding number of baptisms, conversions, and daily massacres. And when, uh, less than a year later, all the missionaries were forcefully exiled or imprisoned, the Catholic Church continued not only to survive, but to flourish. The Communists eventually realised that the Legion of Mary was the reason for the continued growth of Christianity, and so they started a large campaign against it to eradicate it, and it became public enemy number one. If the authorities discovered someone was a member of the Legion of Mary, they tried to induce them to take an oath, renouncing their membership and to cease to propagate the Catholic faith. You see, the communists were willing to tolerate prayer, believing in God, even the idea of people going to churches. But what they couldn't tolerate was evangelization. The work that Christ shows us today is integral to the practice of Christianity. And something which our Holy Father, Pope Francis, wishes to 
see the entire Catholic life centre. So in their efforts to crush Salita and Mary, the Chinese government imprisoned over 5,000 of its members, and about 2,000 were executed. Father Aidan himself was imprisoned for three years. So how do we fit in? Are we the kind of Catholics the communists could have got on with? How integral to your faith is speaking about Christ to others? And not just when people come to you asking questions, but actually going out of your way to introduce others to Christ. The Legion of Mary continues to do the same evangelization work today, both in England, China, and throughout the world. And I've personally found that getting involved with mission teams that the Legion of Mary operates in the summer, a really great way to become a little bit more like the disciples in today's Gospels. Direct evangelization is integral to our Catholic faith. In this Mass, Let's ask for the grace to realize that the great command, make disciples of all nations, is no less important than the other great command which we are about to fulfill, that is, of do this in memory of me.